Hey, what's up guys? How's it going? My name is Fedor and are you excited? Because I am super excited. Today we're gonna continue talking about emotions, desires and needs and in this video we're gonna cover I like and I need. Let's get to it. All right guys, so мне нравится in Russian is I like. So I like in Russian is мне нравится. Мне нравится. And I need is мне нужно. Мне нужно. In the last video we covered я люблю, which is I love. And I want, uh, which is я uh, хочу. So if you didn't watch that video, please go back and check it out. So in English, I love, I want, I need and I like have the same formula. So it's like I is subject, love is a verb. I is subject, want is a verb. And the same with I like and I need. But in Russian, it's a little bit different. So мне, мне is kind of uh, means to me. To me and here мне too. So it's going to be to me here too. Нравится would be something like is appealing. So мне нравится word to word would mean is appealing to me. And мне нужно would be is needed to me or is needed by me. But in this case, it's not going to change. Uh, I mean, uh, in, in this case, in Russian, мне is still going to be the same. You can see that is appealing to me is missing a subject. So to me is like an object. Is appealing is, is a verb. So where is the subject? Here is the trick. If we say I like, uh, let's say мне нравится есть, I like to eat. So есть would be the subject. Есть, uh, eating, eating is appealing to me. So eating would be the subject. The same with мне нужно. Uh, мне нужно купить хлеб. I need to buy bread. I need buying bread, kind of. So buying bread would be the subject. So these two would be the subject. And this is how Russian works with these two phrases I like and I need. Since I like and I need are missing subjects, these forms are going to change according to the subject. So according to something that we like or we need, these forms мне нравится and мне нужно is going to change. And let's talk about how they change. When we talk about an infinitive, if we like to do something or we need to do something, then we just um, we just use мне нравится and мне нужно plus an infinitive. So this is all infinitives. Whatever infinitive you know, you can just add it right after the мне нравится or мне нужно and it's going to make sense. So мне нравится играть, I like to play, uh, мне нужно есть, I need to eat, uh, мне нравится пить, I need to drink, etc. So this is just the examples of of the infinitives. This is to talk, to sleep, to read, and to watch. And as you can see, this will remain the same. They're not gonna change. But they do change when we talk about an object, when we like or we need an object. The second way when we use I like and I need, мне нравится or мне нужно, is when we need or like something, an object. Please note, this is not people. Not people. I'm gonna talk about people a little bit later. This is just objects like a phone, pen, I don't know, a cup, whatever. So it's just objects, not people. And let's start with мне нравится because it's easier here. So мне нравится is going to have the same form all across the genders, masculine, feminine, neuter gender and plural. It's gonna still be the same. So it's нравится. You can see it's all the same. The ending is all the same for each of them. Нравится, when we like something, it doesn't really depend on the gender. Uh, I like doesn't... So it doesn't depend on the gender. But when we talk about the plural form, then it is going to change. It's going to change to нравится. Нравится. Well, it's slight difference in pronunciation between нравится and нравится. So, if you really do not want to stress out about it, you can just say нравится all the time because it's just a slight difference in pronunciation. But when you write, e changes to я. 
But again, it's just a slight difference in pronunciation. If you do not want to stress about it, just say нравится all the time. Нравится, нравится, нравится. Let's get to I need now. Because it does change from gender to gender. With masculine, when the object is masculine, uh, we say мне нужен. Мне нужен. Let's say мне нужен хлеб. I need bread. Мне нужен хлеб. So the ending would be е and n. Нужен. Feminine мне нужна. Мне нужна. Мне нужна машина. Let's say машина is a car. And it's feminine, машина. And for the neuter, it's going to be as for infinitives. So it's just мне нужно. Мне нужно, let's say, окно. I need a window. And by the way, almost every time when a noun ends on a consonant is going to be masculine. Almost every time the noun ends on the letter a or ya, mostly a, is going to be feminine. And every time the noun ends on o, it means that it is new to gender. Just for the future, just so you know. And then finally, we have plural. Мне нужны. Мне нужны друзья. I need friends. A little sad example. I need friends. Мне нужны друзья. And that's it about the usage with with objects. Just a reminder, нравится does not depend on gender. Нужно does depend on gender. And they both depend on whether it's singular or plural noun. And now, finally, we have when we use it with a person. So, when it comes to мне нужно, it's going to change according to the gender of a person that we're talking about. So, we can say you, but you is masculine, let's say it's you, a guy, then we would say ты мне нужен, but if ты, which is you, is she, if it's feminine, then we would say ты мне нужна. So, нужна is going to depend on the gender of a person that you're talking about. So, if it's a guy, we say мне нужен, when it's a girl, we say мне нужна, when uh, it is new to gender, but there is no new to gender people, we say мне нужно, and when it's a lot of people, we say мне нужны. I hope that was clear, and now let's talk about мне нравится, which is I like, because it does change a lot from a pronoun to pronoun. When the pronoun is я, я meaning I, we say я мне нравлюсь. It's gonna have a little bit different form, but for now, let's stick to я мне нравлюсь. So the ending would be Lus and the root is still going to be nrav. Nrav is a root, it doesn't change. And lus is an ending, and it is going to change. Now, when the pronoun is ты, which is you, we say ты мне нравишься. So the ending would be ишься, нравишься. When the pronoun is either on, она or оно, which is he, she or it, it's still going to be the same, which is мне нравится. Мне нравится. When the pronoun is мы, which is we, we say мы нравимся. Мы мне нравимся. When the pronoun is вы, uh, we, uh, which is you plural, we say вы мне нравитесь. Вы мне нравитесь. I like you plural. When the pronoun is они, which is they, we say они мне нравятся. Они мне нравятся. So, let's go over that once again. Я мне нравлюсь. I like myself. I like me. Ты мне нравишься. I like you. Он, она, оно мне нравится. He, she or it. I like he, I like her, him or it. And then, мы мне нравимся, I like us. Вы мне нравитесь, I like you, plural. And они мне нравятся, I like them. And that's what we learned today. I hope this was helpful. I hope you liked this video. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you still have any, any questions about this topic, please let me know. And I will try to break it down for you a little bit so it can be a little bit more clear for you guys. Because who am I making these videos for? 
for you. So, yeah, I'll see you next time. I'll bring it up a notch next time we talk about this topic.